All right, let's take a look here at traces and spans because these are things that we'll come across, especially in serverless, especially in microservice architecture, like using anything with Kubernetes because you have to track things between containers or between, uh, between workloads and that can get kind of confusing. So uh, here is our graphic. Well, let's talk about what a trace is. A trace is data or execution path through the system and can be thought of as a directed acrylic graph of spans. And so we're talking about a DAG. This is that thing over here. So the idea is that you have um, a unique ID that's going to be tracked through uh, all these um, uh, spans. And then this makes up the trace. This is the trace, right? Uh, and then the spans are the individual services, the individual containers or, or whatever that's tracking saying, this is what happened uh, in my little app. This is what happened in my little app. And then there's the context in between them, like the latency and stuff in between them, or did it fail? How many times did they try? So a span represents a logical unit of work in Jaeger. So I actually pulled this from the Jaeger documentation. This graphic is from Jaeger uh, or Jagger. I'm not sure how to pronounce it because it's used for... Um, tracking this stuff that has an operation name, the start time of the operation, the duration spans may be nested and ordered to model casual relationships. So uh, hopefully that gives you an idea what traces and spans are, uh, but there you go.